I think it was the fucking wolf. <laughs> I don't I don't trust that wolf. I don't I don't like that wolf. <laughs> we left off with you guys walking into the distance of the desert and getting lost for about ten days near the edge of the desert. And so we continue our campaign. Oh yeah. Uh both of you roll fortitude as you wake up in a jail cell. Ooh. No, Interesting. So, what are your totals? Mine 16. Okay. 14. Alright. So... We both fail. Yeah, you both fail. So does the uh, bard, who's in another jail cell. And you, c you can see <laughs> both Hoenn in his own little... Pet Pen and Haxabid in a jail cell directly across from you two, and both so of them seem to be completely together. fine. Lucky them. <laughs> you both puke. So does Belgus. <laughs> hey. God damn it. <laughs> Aren't you nice? You both also feel very hungover. What'd I do this time? We got I drunk. didn't say last time that I should stop drinking. <laughs> Wait, I called I it, didn't I? Ache, uh, I? Didn't I have that ache repellent thingy? Yes, you do have the headache repellent. Well, headache. The yes. ache repellent. Did I get rid of the headache? <laughs> yeah, the ache repellent. <laughs> that the goblin said would get rid of my headache. The gnome. Yeah, I used it. The gnome. <laughs> yeah, the gnome. So you, the you, nice version of a goblin. You use. Uh, you said you use the ache repellent. I could, uh, if I got a headache. Yes, yeah, sure. Okay. All of a sudden, you feel so much better. But you end up having to down the whole thing in order to actually get rid of the headache. Well, no more ache, everybody. Greedy motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> also, Istin Sheila is nowhere to be found. Well, of course, because if I was unconscious, she gets desummoned. So, it's a special you guys that I get are more. in some like form 14, of jail area. What do you do? Alright, we're in a jail. I shout for the god. Okay. You call uh, out. Uh, the hell I am. You call out and you get absolutely no response. Shit. Perception check. All right. See if I know anything. We'll see if I see anything that can help us get out of the cell. Right. Roll. I got 19 with my bonuses. All right. <clears throat> you don't find much of anything, if anything at all. You think you see a stick off in the distance, but it's way far away. Damn, I was hoping to find a spoon. <laughs> there is out. no spoon. <laughs> Only Zul. Haxman just kind of goes, you know, I think the last of the guards decided to leave here after Hoenn over there decided to howl constantly for about three hours. I'm surprised neither of you woke up. I was... I was drugged, because that would have woke me up. <laughs> uh, yeah. And my drinking habit is so bad that, uh, yeah... I sleep like a stone. That's odd, considering no one was drugged, no one drank anything. Oh. So why the fuck am I sick? I don't know. Last thing I remember, Good we were in the middle of the desert. Still. Same. Roll wisdom checks. I know, I know. The heat. heat. Also, the d20. I have a 17 plus my wisdom bonus. You roll d20, add your wisdom modifier. Which poor Tessera doesn't have one. <laughs> hey! I got 24 here. 
How do you have 24? I'm looking at your character sheet. You only have an 11 for wisdom. Oh, wisdom, yeah. Oh. oh. Oops. <laughs> now you feel stupid. You have no modifier for Shut wisdom, up. so... <laughs> well, I still got a 20. Oh, you got a natural 20? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. And so, you said you got a 19, Istin? 17. 17? Okay. You don't remember. Uh, However, Tessera suddenly remembers that while you guys were about to leave the desert, you suddenly got ambushed by some weirdo who was chucking what looked like bowling balls or cannonballs at you by kicking them. The using fuck? cool acrobatics to get more range. And somehow it's you guys ended monk. up stepping into a trap and you guys all got knocked out. From there, you have no idea what happened. Fuck. Well... It was a fucking monk. Uh... Damn it. You do remember hearing all what right, sounded let, like let the... Every time he hit the ball, it sounded like he was kicking, like, some form of rubber ball. But when it landed, you could tell it was definitely some form of really, really dense metal. Magic OP. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. Do I have... Yes, I do have Acid Splash. Is it possible for me to try to burn the, the fucking door off? Go for it. <laughs> Alright, I make sure I'm safely away from the door. <laughs> I move all the way to the back. Well, you're in separate cells. Oh. Yeah. I still move away. <laughs> uh, now I gotta roll a d20. 17? Alright, you hit. Correct. Roll damage. Alright, acid supplies is a 1d4, correct? Uh, I believe it's 1d3. D3, alright. If it's a 1, I'll re-roll. Well, actually, no, if it's a 4, I'll re-roll. Yeah, it's 1, D3. It's a 1. It's <laughs> a 1. Alright. It hits, does a little bit of corroding, and then disappears. Well done, genius. It was worth a shot. Uh, true enough. The wolf kind of sits up when you I cast the, like uh, down the door. acid <laughs> splash. <laughs> And, let's see, does it actually know anything that might be better equipped? <laughs> of well, course. Well, I just slightly weaken the door, correct? Of course. The, the uh, wolf just kind of gets up, hmm? looks at the little damage that your acid splash did, then it looks like it has a revelation and it smacks its head on the side, you get the feeling it's because it didn't think of it before. And all of a sudden, when it barks, acid sprays out of its mouth, and the entire door just disintegrates. The fuck? GG. <laughs> um, Game you over. Dog wins. Haxabin just kind of looks over at the spray of acid that's on the opposite wall, and he's just like... I don't remember that being able to be done by you. Please don't use that on our doors. The fuck off. Because you might hit us. <laughs> <laughs> now, get me out of here. Oh, that's even, that's Do even better. Do we have any of our gear on us? No, you don't have any of your gear. You just have your clothes. That's it. So, yeah. the next thing it does... I'm going to use the soap to... Grease up the hinges and... It casts... Alright, so what happens? Well, it, it uses shatter and howls it, basically shattering all the uh, doors for you guys. Dog OP. Dog, dog OP. <laughs> <laughs> and then Haxman goes, Did I ever mention that my wolf is a sorcerer? No. Nope. No, you didn't. Okay, well, now you know. <laughs> I didn't know about uh, Hoenn being able to spew acid from his mouth, though. That was a new one. Sounds like something I gotta level up. 
You are now free from your cells, but you still don't have your equipment. What do you do now? Uh, well, I don't need equipment to be dangerous to people. That is true. I summoned Sheila. <laughs> okay. And Tessera? I take and go and look around. Alright. You're in some form of dungeon. As you look around, you see some of the uh, torture devices that would normally be part of a dungeon. Uh, there are some uh, other people that are in the area. Most of them are either unconscious, dead, or dying. Dying. Only, only one of them is oh, actually that's... strong enough to <sighs> speak, and he just goes, Run! Get out of here before they find you! Dude, you look Dude? like you're 20. Why do you sound like you're 80? <laughs> He just kind of looks at you. I'm 573! Holy fucking crap! Hexer just kind of looks at you two and goes, kind of makes you wonder how he kept track of that. <laughs> yeah. Um, looks like his entire walls are filled with scratches. I think I know how he kept track, but it looks like he ran out of room. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. Alright. There is a door to th uh, from back where you guys were stationed at. From your perspective, leaving left, there's a door. Leaving right, there's a door. You guys walking to the left found the uh, torture room mm. and more people. More people? Torture. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Alright. Takes up one of the handheld torture devices. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. You pick up a... Uh, I'll be taking this. You, you, you pick up one of those l miniature screw uh, drill things. You know, where it's got the little uh, spindle on one side and then it's, it rotates with the handle. Kind of looks like one of those U-bars. That's the handle. You take one of those. Yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> and the door appears to be locked. <laughs> oh, that's I drill a hole in it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh, you, you drill a hole after about three minutes. And you, you can see out. It seems to be another room. There is a hanging okay, lantern in it. Let me use the disabled device. But no people, as of, as that I can see. That you can see, no. All right. That's all I wanted to know. It's a wooden door, right? Yep. Sheila breaks it down. How? Tail slap. Okay, roll the hit. Twenty. Natural or no? Natural. <laughs> oh. Okay. Natural twenty. You hit it, what's the uh, max damage? Well, actually, uh, bonus, roll to confirm. 18, with bonuses. Okay. Um, what's the maximum damage that Sheila does with a tail slap? Uh, let's see. That is a 1d8 plus 3. Okay, so that's with 11. With a plus 10. Wait, what plus 10? Plus 10, 21. Where's the plus 10 coming from? It it says right here, main hand, plus 10, 1d8, plus 3. Mm, the plus is 10 plus is 10 to, to hit. hit. Alright, I was wondering because it's on there <laughs> on, on my character sheet and on the actual paper character sheet I have. We don't have that. Yeah. That's the uh, one attack plus bonus. Three, which is 11 times 2. The 1d8 plus 3, so that's 11 times 2, that's 22. Alright. The entire door cracks a lot, but does not break down. Do it again! <laughs> Alright. Roll again. 20 again, what the fuck? <laughs> 